Hi, this is a video review of the Aki 300 watt power inverter. Uh, it's got dual USB charging ports. That's a model PA V2. I've uh, I've mounted it in the uh, in our trailer in order to uh, get enough power to watch TV when we're camping off the grid. Anyways, um, it's a nice little inverter. It's perfect size. Uh, it's very lightweight. The reason I selected this unit over some of the other ones is uh, it has the uh, little screw-on nibs here for connecting your battery. Uh, it, it also comes with the uh, cigarette, cigarette lighter adapter and uh, battery connector. There's your cigarette lighter adapter here. And screw it on in place plug it into your cigarette lighter or clip it directly to a battery these are fairly heavy gauge wires uh, I would guesstimate that there are probably if it says anything on here probably in, in around uh, 10 to 12 gauge short little distance okay so anyways uh, this unit I'll just switch it on here for you I've, I've got it hooked. I've got this little meter hooked in line. So I've got uh, the wires going from your positive and your negative terminals here. And they are wired into my uh, into my panel here. And I utilized a, uh, probably can't see it, but I've utilized an open circuit at the bottom for hooking it in. So I've got it fused. If I, if I pull the fuse out, it'll completely disable the, the circuit. Or it's just an extra uh, fusible link keeps uh, keeps everything nice and safe so if I turn this uh, meter on right away you get some amperage draw settles into about 4.4 amps 4.8 watts that's just the inverter itself running so, you know, when I'm uh, dry camping, I like to shut the thing off, make sure I'm not losing any amperage. I've wired my output cable here. I've wired it into the, um, into the trailer so that by use of a switch, I can switch between whether I want the inverter to power a set of plugs. I've utilized one of my circuit breakers it's going to the plug up by the TV and it's also also going uh, to a plug at one of the bunks so I can switch between shore power or inverter or battery power so I'll just uh, I've got it hooked up I've got it I've got the inverter turned on I'll just turn on my uh, TV just to give you a little demonstration Okay, so this power at the top of my unit here, or this plug-in, I've I've uh, I found out which line it was, which breaker it was, and I've utilized that breaker. I've spliced into it so that I can uh, switch between the shore power and the battery power. It looks like I got low battery strength right now, or low digital. I'll just turn on my antenna booster here. Okay, so now I've got uh, regular TV channels not hooked up to anything, not hooked up to any cable or anything. Okay, so now my draw with the TV hooked up is 3.67 amps. 44 watts. Nice thing I like about this here little inverter as well is um, let me shut my TV off here for a second. Is if I uh, if I turn the inverter off, it's got um, it's got USB ports here. Now the USB ports they don't need power to be inverted; they're already DC power. So you can plug in you can plug in your USB cord and charge your phone directly through that. 
See, I'm not using any amps right now. I'll just plug the cord into my uh, USB port. And I'll just plug it into the back of the phone here that I'm recording with. It's going to get a little wobbly here. Okay, so now I'm charging. Now you can see there is a draw. I'm using 0.44 amps current charging my phone right now. It's kind of a nice feature. So there's there's two 2.1 amp 2.1 amp 2.4 amp USB outlets. that now so really it's 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 not too complicated to uh, to hook converter up to utilize a couple of the outlets in your trailer I could have gone with a much stronger inverter I just wanted lightweight I wanted compact I wanted it to nicely fit in a little area below the fridge here We've got access to all the connections in behind here through our little shoe storage area Got my solar panel switch here. I can turn my solar panel on and off. This is another meter. It's not nearly as accurate as the uh, little GT power meter here, but you know, with a quick glance, I can see my battery voltage, which is kind of nice. Um, now, this meter is hooked in, so I'm only going to see the current draw of what I'm using that's plugged into the inverter. So when I'm watching TV, I can keep track. It'll give me a running total at the bottom of exactly how much uh, current I've used before I've charged my batteries again. Okay, well that's my little uh, review of the Oakley meter. Great purchase. Oh, another thing to point out is the fan hasn't started up yet, and it won't start up unless you're drawing quite a bit of current. I watch TV for four hours, never had the fan start up once, so there's absolutely zero noise coming out of it. No heat whatsoever. I'm going to turn this on one more time here and I'm going to just demonstrate the accuracy of it. I've got a uh, 60 watt light bulb hooked up right now. Okay, so the inverter's on and it's drawing 4.8 to 5 watts. So with a 60 watt bulb, turn it on. Okay, now I'm at 64.1 watts. It's very accurate. That's that's perfect. That's exactly where I want to see it. It's, you know, it's within uh, within one one watt. Okay, so it's 5.31, 5.32 is the amp draw with that 60 watt bulb. Just give you an indication of the accuracy of the meter, or sorry, of the uh, well, of the meter and of the inverter. Okay, thanks.